there is tremendous excitement for the future of the Arkansas River, what with all of the development that's taken place over the past few years. But there is also tremendous concern about the river because of all of the development that took place in the past. This is oil. Petroleum engineer Dan Arthur, along with stepsons Isaac and Carter, giving Tulsa City Councilor Jamie Fowler. This is absolutely fascinating. A guided tour. We're going to find four or five of them. Of the river's oil field leftovers. If you look at that little island there in the river, that's one. And then over to the left, there's a taller one. Arthur took us to four locations, all within a stone's throw of the 71st Street Bridge. Look at that. That is oil. <laughs> and that is going into the Arkansas River. Arthur says disbelief is a common reaction when he's tried to raise awareness about the issue. It's just funny to me that people don't believe me when I tell them there's old wells like this in Arkansas River. And they say, well, it's probably not actually an oil well, it's something else. I'm like, is this something else? And Councillor Fowler says when he's raised the topic at City Hall. I have mentioned this in committee meetings, these abandoned oil wells. Uh, crickets. And maybe you're thinking, well, what could possibly be the impact of three or four old wells? Dan, about how many abandoned wells from Bigsby up to Sand Springs? Any, any, any kind of guesstimate? Uh, we've found about 50. You know, I'm going to guess there's more than that, but it's hard, it's hard to say. And if that's hard to visualize, take a look at these old postcards that show what the river used to look like. And we've got a lot of pipe here. There's a, there's a long flow line over here because you, you can imagine if you had a well producing oil in the middle of the river, you, ha, you, you have to take that produced oil and pump it to a central tank somewhere, right? Cleanup funds are available from the state and feds, but there's more wells than money. I think that, you know, if we work smart down at City Hall, we can grab some of these dollars to address this issue. I would absolutely love to see it cleaned up. For Isaac and Carter, it's their generation which will most likely see any real progress on the issue. Yeah, it really does concern me because if you just have a bunch of these and a bunch of the oil just sitting there and a bunch of that methane just going out in the atmosphere, it's going to cause a bunch of problems for the environment. From oil field to playground, the next chapter of the Arkansas River is about to begin. With uh, a huge influx of people coming onto the river now, uh, this needs to be addressed. This is an issue.